In this series, basically we're focusing on damages uh, or just compensation that you as a property owner are entitled to receive when property is taken from you by the government. The damages that you as an owner are to receive are based on a term which, which is called highest and best use. Uh, another way of defining highest and best use is the most valuable use for your property. And just as an example, if, uh, if you have a, let's see, a, a, a piece of vacant land, uh, and that land can be developed for, let's say, a commercial shopping center, uh, commercial use is the highest and best use for that particular property. In eminent domain, frequently what happens is uh, a person is using a property for one use, and the question then arises, does that existing use constitute the highest and best use? The answer to that uh, question is no. And I'll give you kind of a simple example, uh, one that uh, uh, you'll be able to understand, but realizing that the, uh, as you extend the edges of, of this issue, it does become more complicated. Uh, let's say you are a homeowner, and you have maybe an extra extra large lot. It's not a, a simple normal lot, but it's a, an extra large lot, but it, it's your home, the home you live on, but it's being taken for the expansion of a, a major road that your property looks on. It turns out that uh, while you have a home on your property, most of the properties around you have, have uh, that used to have homes on them have been developed and uh, into some kind of a commercial use. Might be a drugstore, might be a hardware store, might be a convenience store, might be a gas station. In any event, surrounding you are a lot of commercial properties. Your property is, because it's residential, it's still zoned that way as well. Uh, under highest and best use rules, though, if your property were to be sold out in the marketplace, uh, that likely buyer would not continue to use your property uh, as a house like you have. They most likely to recognize the most value from that property would convert it to a different use a commercial use consistent with everything else that's around uh, your neighborhood. So that is that example helps to explain highest and best use and how it comes into play in eminent domain. Uh, your property, even though it's used as residential, would still or should still be valued as a commercial use, uh, presumably meaning that the commercial use is a lot more valuable than the, than the value of your lot with your house on it. In those situations, where the just compensation as determined by the condemning authority has been based upon a residential use, and that is not the most valuable use, then that would justify you as a property owner in that situation pursuing a claim for more just compensation because the rules for determining damages uh, were not followed correctly.